U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Natabusang Community Caregiver Dreams Initiative. My mother died in 2009, and she was HIV positive. Two years ago, my grandmother came to me and gave me a letter saying, "I'm sorry, my my daughter, for not being there for you." Toby Lay, Banel's mother, HIV patient. The only thing this was ringing in my mind is this: okay, I'm going to die, and my baby's going to die. Buisa, teen club participant at Taylor's Clinic. Then, after a month, my mom said, "You are getting sick, and you are going to die." There are 37 million people living with HIV in the world. South Africa is home to the highest burden of HIV in the world, but there is hope. As part of the president's emergency plan for AIDS relief (PEPFAR), CDC has helped save millions of lives around the world. These are some of their stories. So when this program came, it just changed my mindset that you know, even though people are are not uh, there for you physically, emotionally, but you have to love yourself first. I I know that I, HIV had not been taken away from me, but sitting uh, down with them and talking with them. It's making me like to be at peace. But since I came here, I have some people who I can talk to them to be open and feel free. You see, here it's my home. As a key implementing agency of PEPFAR, CDC is at the forefront of the global response to HIV. CDC through PEPFAR supports life-saving treatments for more than 8 million people living with HIV, one third of all the people on treatment worldwide. Dr. Karidia Dilo, Laboratory Chief, CDC South Africa. CDC has this unique position in the world that nobody else has. If you have so many experts, it just increases your capacity to do what you have to do. But today we face new challenges. Many of the countries most affected by HIV are facing a rapidly growing population of youth. More work is needed in certain places and with certain groups, especially among men and adolescent girls and young women. Studies forecast that AIDS will claim more lives in 2030 than it does today unless we step up efforts to fight the disease. I want to teach people that whatever you're going through, every situation that you are facing, every challenge is. That you are facing, there's a way, there's a solution that will come, but it needs you. If it wasn't for them, Panele wouldn't be like this. Now uh, he's formal, he's lovely, he's healthy, energetic, yeah, because of them. On my own, I can think they must give it up. I like it. We stand at a crucial moment in the history of HIV response, and we have a small window to finish the job. We can't stop now. To learn more about the CDC's efforts to fight HIV and TB globally, visit www.cdc.gov/globalhivtb. Closing text: Division of Global HIV and TB, Center for Global Health. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the PEPFAR logo, CDC logo, and Health and Human Services logo appear on screen.